Hi there, welcome back to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is touch keyboard tips and tricks for the Fold Creators update. The Fall Creators Update is the latest edition of Windows 10 that came out in around about September, October 2017. A few things have changed in the touch keyboard in Windows 10. For example, in the old keyboard, we used to have an option in the bottom right to toggle between different keyboard options. That's moved up into the top left, and you'll see the option here now also to dock the keyboard has moved into this position on the top left as well. Looking through the different keyboard options, you'll notice that the second option along has changed. We used to have a split screen keyboard option, and that's now been replaced with a small mobile phone style keyboard that allows you to swipe to type. In my language, English Australian, although the keyboard option is there, you'll find that swipe typing doesn't work just yet. Currently that keyboard option only works in English US and a handful of other languages. So if you want to use that feature, just switch languages to English US. In a future update to Windows 10, we're expecting to see that swipe feature appear on the larger keyboards as well. Also, when we switch into the English US language, you'll see that another option becomes available to us at the top of any of the keyboard layouts. It's a voice typing option. As long as we're connected to the internet, we're going to be able to use our voice to type now directly on the keyboard in Windows 10. That means that you can now voice type into any application. And I found that the voice recognition, it works amazingly well. Let me give you a bit of a demonstration. Everybody watching this video should be subscribed to be a Surface Pro. So you can see that it's pretty accurate even with my broad Australian accent. So that's a pretty cool new option. Again, we don't know when it's gonna to come to other languages like English Australian, but we expect it won't be too far away. Looking through the rest of the keyboard options, you'll see that we still have our handwriting input option. That has changed significantly in this update. And also the standard keyboard layout on the far right hand side. The standard keyboard layout is the same as it was in previous versions. Back on the touch keyboard, you'll see that we still have quick access to numbers and symbols from the keyboard. For example, across the top row of keys, you'll see a small set of numbers. And if I press on the letter Y, for example, I can swipe up and across to different character options. The layout of this has changed slightly compared to the previous versions of Windows 10 but it works much the same way. As you explore the keyboard further, you'll find that most keys have some options behind them for different symbols. For example, the question mark. This is one of my favorites. If you press and hold the question mark, you can get to the at symbol, the brackets, the hash and dash symbols all quickly within your reach just by pressing and holding on the question mark. So there's a few new features in the touch keyboard in Windows 10 for Creators Update. If you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips.